Salutations. Greetings, greetings. Welcome to At the Corner with me, JC Jelly Bean, and, and Butterfly Pretty. Stay fly. Yes, today is going to be a simple topic just to start off, you know. At the Corner yes. with JC Jelly Bean and, and her guest host, Butterfly, Butterfly Pretty. Pretty. Stay yes. fly. That's a long title. You know mm -hmm. that? It I is. Can't even, just, <laughs> just like my other title, but what I wanted to talk about today, if Butterfly does not mind, is she has a little beef with Tasha K. Now, I don't like have a beef with Tasha K. Let's correct that, um, Jelly Bean. No, these people be out here crazy. I, right. however, am not a supporter of Tasha K. I find her to be an evil, vile woman. If, now, well, wouldn't that be having a beef a little bit? Wouldn't you think? No, because no. I just don't watch say, her. I don't care about her. That's just it. I don't like her. That's just, it. Just okay. So there's more. So it's beyond disagreement. Is that what you're saying? No, I just, I don't agree with it. So that's what it is. I just don't like her. Okay, well. So it's not a beef. <laughs> not a beef, but yeah, she doesn't like her. Mm -mm. Sounds confusing to me, but however. How is that confusing? I don't have a beef with her. Like, if I see her, I'm not, like, we don't have a beef. Okay. It's my opinion as somebody who is looking in from the outside. You okay. see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's not a beef. I don't have anything that I want to discuss with her. I just don't like her. Now with it's an me, opinion. I do like her. I like some mm -hmm. of her segments. You know, I just think, you know, in certain topics, she don't have to be so, you know, you know, raunchy in certain things. But I guess that's how the way she get her views, right? Mm -hmm. You got to start somewhere. Even She's a shock the, jock. Even at, is that She's, what you call it? I call it a shock jock. What is but she? she vlogs. So She's a shock vlogger. Now, one topic that I found interesting that she doesn't like is the whole Cardi B thing. You know, she says she's out for Cardi B. But I just think she's kind of putting her on blast because of certain things from her past. But you can disagree with that, right? I don't agree with that. At I feel all. like she has it out for Cardi B. Um, I'm not sure. When did you discover her? I discovered her probably, like, i say a year ago. Okay. You know, So you was watching that, her before the Cardi B situation Yes, happened. before she So was you up. paying attention to the Cardi B situation and everything that took place in it? Probably starting from her and the whole thing with what she what is it Summer Bunny or something like that. Fried Marie. Yeah, Summer Bunny's it. a whole different, a whole different other. One. Well, I mean her her husband got so many different hoes. I mean you can't really. Nope. And this is why she's suing Tasha K right now. See. You see her, her mentality on Carly B. That's why she's suing her. Tasha K has spewed a lot of evil and ugly things about Cardi B, and people like her believe it, and that's why Cardi B is suing. Well. Unfortunately, I mean, fortunately, it ain't even unfortunately. I love Cardi B. I was introduced to her like all of you others in, um, what is it? Love and Hip Hop of New York. And I really loved her personality and characteristic. It kind of reminded me of me. So, this is why she's winning to this day. Cardi B has personality. Shout out to Cardi. I still love you, girl. You got me all day. You, you know? know, I'm Barty Gang for life. So, all day. I'm Barty Gang. And I love the first song that she came out with. What was that? Bodak Yellow? That was the first one you know. But Cardi B had mixtapes. Coming off of the first season of Love and Hip Hop, she um, launched her first mixtape, which is Gangsta B Volume 1. Never heard of it, but I think I need to go back See, to it. See, I listened to it. She only became hip to her music when she had that commercial success, which would be the Bodak Yellow. Okay. And that's when she, she just completely blew up. So... That's the music she's familiar with. It, I don't know if every um, some of y'all might be familiar with one of her songs, which is um, uh, what is it? Uh, Cheap Weave. Yeah, Cheap Weave was one of her songs. That was on Volume One. Volume Two was the um, what she ended up doing a remix with Offset, which was um, The Lick. Oh yeah, that I was off her that. Volume Two mixtape. That okay. wasn't off her her album, which we all know is. I really privacy. didn't know when she was definitely doing the love and hip hop when she was like really talking about you know you know being her you know as far as her working at the strip club or whatever and just you know sticking up her stacking up her money you know or her money bag for the for the um was it to do her her um music, music. Mm -hmm. you know the studio time she did the thing about the love and hip hop thing that was all make believe okay love and hip hop is a reality show but we have, we all come to learn. Through these years that 
these reality shows ain't necessarily reality. Okay, so the love stage. of hip hop is known and has been accused of staging, and Cardi B admitted it. I mean, she said it a thousand times. She never really messed with self. That was just a way of introducing her into the show. That was well, yeah, I can I can agree with that. But most of it, as far as her being, you know, in the show and then you know really doing her music, that was like really a reality. That was a know? reality. And. We didn't know until, so, you know, well, she knew as far as her mixtapes. I didn't even know how talented she was as far as, you know, being a, a female, you know, rap artist. It was just kind of amazing. You know and what? I would say, I would give Cardi B entertainer. She's an entertainer. Because a lot of people feel that she's not a rapper because she doesn't write all of her raps. Um, X, Y, and Z, blah, 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 blah. So, and I feel like she is an entertainer. She, first of all, she was a social media influencer. Yes. She was really discovered off of Instagram. So she didn't start in the music industry, and I think that's why she still has a lot of her personality, and that's why she still operates a lot on social media, because that's where she started. A lot of people are expecting her to act like an actress or a singer, but that's not the that's not where she got her fame from. She technically she already had over a million followers on Instagram before she got on Love and Hip Hop. So she really technically was a social media influencer. And that's why a lot of her stuff is still tough this is my opinion. A lot of her stuff is still done social media wise, Instagram wise. But now that she's so mainstream, don't you do you believe I mean I believe this, you know, that she should kinda like reduce her, you know, her social media like presence. To, yes. No. No. Because that's what that's that's what started her brand. Okay. Was the social media. See, we're now. I think we're not realizing that we're now. We we have entered a new phase of the social media influences. They are now as big as the stars. They can't change their format because now they're being held up there with the stars because that's not where they started at. They didn't start as a trained actor or somebody that was looking to be an actor or somebody that was just looking to be a singer, a rapper or a singer or whatever. Mm -hmm. They started on social media. So I don't think they should stray away from that. I because think that is a whole new, that's now a whole new subculture. Being a, a social media influencer is now a whole new subculture. So no, I don't think she should change. Well, I I disagree with that a little bit. The reason why I said that because she's mainstream and she has to do, you know, she can still, you know, of course do her social media thing and, you know, I don't think that's going to like, you know, really affect her. But I just think certain things that she says in social media, like when people try to get at her, like Tasha K, for instance, for those who think so, <laughs> you know, I think retaliating on social media, you know, re of a response, you know, I think it can damage her brand. At, you know what I'm saying? Especially if she keeps going back and forth. Just, I don't. Know, I don't think so. A lot of people think all these incidents were dead. They thought she was done after the the uh, fashion week debacle. Mm -hmm. And she turned. First of all, she was on Hopper Bazaar. Hopper Bazaar has never, ever featured a female rapper or a rapper. Period. They who they catered to Harper Bazaar, the magazine who they catered to, has nothing to do with the hip hop world. So the fact that she went to their party, that's where she had to fight, and a year later they still put her on their cover. That was a ceiling that Cardi B broke. So I think that for some people thinking that she needs to change who she is to further her career, I think that's a myth because first of all, she's still having number ones. She's still growing on Instagram. She's still she's she literally just hit fifty thousand the other day and she's already at 50.5 okay. so that lets you know that, know that. it's know not that her personality is not really affecting her brand maybe because before she got you know on mainstream that was just already her that was who anyway. she was and now, that's what i mean by she should stick with i think she should stick with it yeah i believe that you know okay so coming from your perspective i can't agree with that However, I just think she should still keep it to a minimum because, you know, when you got other people out here, you know, expressing whatever it is, their their opinions or, you know, hearsay about her. And she, she just, like, really, really gets, like, really emotional about because it. Because she's still human. Yeah, I think a lot of us think when these people become famous, social media influence, we, we lose the human aspect. We take that away from them and we expect them to be somebody that they're not. Yeah, I can agree. With She's that. human as a human being in your everyday life. If you constantly was going, people do it now on Facebook. They still go back and forth at each other. You know, somebody says something about them, you're gonna correct it. You're, that's that's human nature. 
I don't expect her to not be human just because she's famous and got money. I think that's unrealistic. And I think that's why a lot of previous stars before her end up on drugs, dead, or committing suicide. A lot of these, if you notice, a lot of these child actors, actors, period, they all have serious addiction problems. They have, they all have a lot of coping and anxiety issues because people expect them not to be human. These people were getting dogged in the media before they were social media and they didn't have an outlet to express themselves or defend themselves. So then they turned to being drug addicts. We have plenty of prime examples. Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson, um, freaking KC, uh, Jodeci. Like we have so many examples of people who was bunch. affected by how they was attacked in the media, but because there was no social media at the time, they didn't have an outlet to express themselves and defend themselves. So they turned to drugs. So no, I don't think that she should dial it back. If you can say it, then she can defend herself. If you're going to talk about it, what's wrong with her defending herself? I don't see nothing wrong with it at all. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't, because I still look I don't at her as all, human. That's true. I don't have a problem with her defending herself, you know, but like taking it to the, you know, to, to me to an extreme to where, you know, I don't want to say she's going to lose people because I don't think, you know, she's on that status of losing she people at all. When anybody. She, I don't believe she's that. She's gaining. She's gaining. She's continuously gaining. But it can't hurt her, you know what I'm saying, moving forward if she continues, I believe. I believe it can I hurt her I think that will forward. come with her maturity, though, in the industry. I think a lot of people, because of how big and how huge her stardom and her fame has become she's still only three years into the industry yes that's three true. so that would be years. still you know she's maturing. still and she's still a young adult she's a millennial so she still has maturing to do so i think as she mature with age she will also mature with her brand i agree like a rihanna yeah, but the difference between her and Rihanna, their characteristic personality are t- no, they no, they're not because um, Rihanna be on in, on Twitter. Rihanna clap back on Twitter. She clap back too. See these these but stars no, clap back too. I don't believe too. as hard as Cardi. Yes, yeah, she has. Really? Yes, Rihanna. That's why they call her Savage. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was because it was a train, you know, a, a trainee thing, a Trinidadian thing. No, but I guess not. No. No, oh, well, no, she's, she's not oh, Trinidadian. She's what, Beijing. Be, Beijing. But isn't that still from the islands anyway? It's from the islands, but just like we have southern black people, we have northern black people, we have eastern black people. They're still, they're not all in one island. They're but still, they'll still they consider still black their, to most people. They still all have their identities. Yes, to American people who don't pay still attention, they lump them all into one thing. Absolutely. Like she will probably call a Haitian a Jamaican. And they're two totally not different really. people. I know two totally difference. different cultures. Okay, but she know that. But when you go further in, like you don't know, the, do you know the difference between a Bayesian and a Trinidadian? No, because they're kind of like similar to me. They're not though. And that's I know, the whole you're thing. Right. You're right. Because you don't, you haven't really paid attention to their culture My West as Indian much. culture is, is really, really, you know, it's really vague. I yeah, it's vague. Like, it's very vague. If I had to grow up here in Boston, which is a very huge melting pot, and we have, I want to say, a little bit of every culture here. Well, that's because it's populated, you know what I'm saying, with different cultures. It is, time. but that's what I mean. Like, you, you know, shouldn't still be this vague. They've been here for a while, y'all. Okay. <laughs> she got a point, y'all. I'm, I'm kind of... But that's the thing. That. That's the thing she didn't pay attention to, which is cool. Yes, it is. A lot of us don't. Forgive me, people. I'm still learning just like we all are, right? Yes. Yes. Life is a learning. Hey, every day you learn something new. Yes. But it still doesn't get to the point where the reason why I love Tasha K. I mean, I believe she gets some of the dirt, but unfortunately butterfly pretty thinks otherwise she just thinks she just be lying on her but sometimes she be lying on everybody that she gets dirt on tasha k is let me tell you something she's Why a shock do you think jock she does that though because she wants the fame and the money and she likes the attention she gets now let's just be real unfortunately with her suing cardi b it has caught it pulled her to more subscribers but because i've been watching my introduction to Tasha K was when she was working with Essie Berry and Geneva's Closet. Now, how I came across Tasha K is from Geneva's Closet and the Essie Berry situation. How I came period. across is just her whole channel unwind with Tasha K in general. And even that concept is stolen. She really? stole it. Yeah, she stole it. I didn't even know that. And then she had a, a, um, a segment to where someone else. She was attacking somebody else who. About the similar. Them being yeah. Having something similar. But Tasha K stole her, stole her concept from three young ladies that had a segment called Unwind with. Um, I forgot. It was Unwind with. I forgot their names. But her, her concept is stolen. Do you think they should be suing her? They're not the going to sue her because she how big she is now. 
I still would take that. And money. you know, that's that saying. That's like with no know. offense, TK, but I'm just being honest and realistic here on that note. But she I don't do. care. She still, if she don't like what we say, she's still going to attack us. Oh, well, if she does, I don't mind. You know, at least she's giving me promo. <laughs> she ain't giving us no promo, especially you. You're really you're smaller than me. I may be this small. is only your second vlog. <laughs> that may be true, but even her uttering, you know, what I'm saying my name in she's her not. Lip. She's gonna she's gonna do a subliminal. She's not gonna utter your name at all. Well, we'll she's not see. giving you free advertising. Well, you we'll see that. as you know time progresses. Yeah, as your you're channel right grows. Yeah, yeah, for now. Yeah. But I'm we're not both to, still small. I'm not really trying to bash her. I just want to get to the, you know what I'm saying, to the scene at hand, the basic. Well, she's not bashing them. Basically, she just wanted to discuss the differences because we, we're two with opposites. She loves her. I like her. her. She I doesn't. can't stand her. And it's funny because I love me some Cardi B. So I think that's why I was so in tune, not just because she was throwing shots at, um, at um, Cardi B. So, so but this is why stated. Cardi B is suing her. Tasha K has attacked Cardi B. Attack Cardi B's mother, has attacked her child, no, 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 no. has attacked well, she her did. husband. She, did she has done a lot child. to this young lady. And this all started, you guys, I don't know if any of you know this, this all started from Cardi B turning her down on an interview when that Fraud Marie was going around with that story about Cardi B. Cardi B reached out to Tasha K in her inbox, and Tasha K asked Cardi B for an interview, and Cardi B said no. From that moment on, it's Tasha just, K has put a target on Cardi and decided that she was just going to drag her. And that's just how that went. But in She her, has no real reason not to like Cardi B other than Cardi B wouldn't help her chase the clout that she was trying to chase. And that she continues to chase with the stories that she put out. And a lot of the stories are not true stories. And unfortunately... Like a lot of people, she's getting away with spreading these lies. But that's why she has a lot of, lot of lawsuits following behind her. Well, there you have it. She's Nate. Yin and Yang. And I'm yet. Yeah, exactly. Yin and Yang. And no matter what, both of you, Cardi, you keep doing your thing. We love you still. Keep it because I'm a, I'm I'm gonna keep supporting regardless. Tasha K, I'ma still support, although she may not, but it's okay. We all, you know, mm -hmm. have to do our We're thing. Been stop watching her. I don't give nobody no free clicks and views over here. If I don't like you, I'm not giving you anything. So well, nope, don't watch her. Again, she's not gonna watch it, but you mm -mm. know, I'm gonna watch it because not I that love she her. needs me because she's what six thousand, six hundred thousand strong now. So my little one click and view is not her and her. She, so she's probably not even gonna discuss this anyway because of what you just said, which to me, it's all good. So there you have it, guys. You want her to watch you? She sponsored people, but she's yeah. gonna have you doing her dirty work. Are I'm you not willing to do, do dirty work? No. All right. I'm then. not playing the tab. The, what is it? The tab pull on that? No. Mm. No. I'll just sit behind the scenes. That's scene. how she will look at you. She will look at you. She's gonna look at your content. See if you have a personality. See if people will draw to you, mm -hmm. and then from there she'll reach out to you. Yeah. Well, when that time comes, if that time comes, we'll cross that bridge. We will get there. Mm. But until next at the corner. They, we, we just love you. Thank you for joining us for yes. the very first vlog, yes. you guys. Yes. Thank you. If at the corner. If it wasn't for her, I don't even know how I would have started all of this. So I thank you so much mm. for the five pretty safe fly. Until next time, peace. Love you guys. Salutations. And remember, it takes more muscles to frown than it does to smile. Spread <laughs> love and not hate. Love, light, and butterflies. There, there you go.